Hello and welcome back to the farm. We sure appreciate you being here. It's been a while since I've been able to post anything with all of the crazy farming that's been going on with these warm, humid summer months. But here I am. This morning was so crazy. I thought that I just had to fill you in and bring you along. We sure hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Well... This morning, not only did we have to remove a chicken from the mixed flock, our Miss Crowing Widow, but uh, we added our six baby into the flock. So now we have six new Americanas and with our mixed breeds, and that is our big egg layer group. We'll get some new blue eggs. Excited. Now, the reason we had to take a chicken out, Miss Widow, who thinks she's a rooster and crowing, is because she's literally pulling all the feathers out of a few of my poor little hens. Like over here, see Miss uh, uh, Eggs here. Come here, Eggs. See your poor little neck? Her back? Look. So she's picking feathers in the coop, bullion, to get the seat. She's trying to mount my hens, pulling out their back feathers. Poor little marshmallow getting sunburnt because of it. And this morning I seen her chasing my lavender Orpington around, pulling her feathers out of her neck and fighting with her. So what do you do with a hen that thinks it's a rooster and needs an attitude adjustment? Let me show you. Well, you give her an attitude adjustment got to clean this area up by putting her over here with my big girls and my Mr. Daphne. Him when I wooster. her. He's so beautiful. But put her over here. She's right there hanging with Mr. Daphne. She used to come over here when she was, you know, a little pullet because we raised the uh, three uh, hens and rooster of these Jersey Giants with our original mixed breeds that we started with and she was one of them and uh, So she's accustomed to him. She knows him, but she definitely ain't picking on no hens She's already had a few attitude adjustments by these big old sassy ladies So we'll see how uh, how we do Huh, big boy got you a new lady. Huh, big boy Look here. She comes help me mama save me save me mama Hey, when you're mean and you need to be reminded that you're a hen, this is how mama's going to do it for you, okay? I'm going to get you with the biggest, baddest rooster I could find. You think it's funny now, but it ain't going to be funny here in a couple days. You're going to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. And you won't be sarcastically laughing. You'll be thanking me. I'm telling you. Yeah. That's what it's like to be with a rooster, huh? You remember. Okay, I'll keep you posted. So I decided to come out. I'm just now um, making me some lunch. So I figured it'd be a good time to come out and check to see how everybody's doing. Who are over here, we'll check on uh, Miss Grumpy Rooster Hen Widow and see how she's handling things. Well, let's see how she's doing. Huh? Well, looks like she's doing fine. She's just a looking and a chilling. Haven't heard a single crow from her though, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's go check on the other babies. Sounds like they're happy. Let's see how happy happy is, huh? Ah, all the big hens are over yonder and the, the babies are hanging out under the tree. So let me give you a closer look. They're kind of cute. They're way up under there. Let's see. Oh, there they are. There are the babies. There's some the babies. Oh yeah, they're loving up under that tree. Absolutely loving life. 
Well, hi, Miss Karen. How are you? You like your new area? Huh? You like your new area? Coming to see what I got? Oh, now look, they'll all come over and check it out. What do you think, ladies? Oh, you got you a mama? Huh? What's up, Shadow? You got some babies? Our Lavender Orpington Shadow seems to have adopted the little pullets. Or is at least content joining their little, little flock. What? What is it, Buttercup? Buttercup and Karen usually uh, lead the pack there. Okay. Well, they look like they're adjusting perfectly. Cher over there checking out the entrance to the coop. The other ladies enjoying some worms, I'm sure, that just come to the surface from the rain we just had come through. I love it. They're doing great. I'll go back inside, have my lunch, then I'll come back out here. Hopefully we don't get a, a rainstorm before then, but we'll see. A few hours later. <laughs> so these guys are the only ones that's left. We have 17 hens left. And it's feeding time, if you can't tell. They'll follow me all around the coop. <laughs> Everywhere I walk. Let me get these guys fed. <laughs> As you can see, once they get their food, it's quite hungry, hungry hippos. But anyway, they are 11 weeks old this Sunday. We are going to be calling all of these birds tomorrow, and then we'll be done for the year. So, kind of excited about that. Uh, just to have all of our poultry and uh, in the freezer and ready for winter and our family's consumption. It's such a blessing to be able to raise our own food. So let's go check uh, on these babies. There's a car coming. So I come out here to check on the birds, right? See how the babies are doing. I got the other birds down here squawking at me. Anyway, I couldn't find them. I'm like, oh my gosh, where the heck did my freaking baby chicks go? So I come in here and I look. And they're like, we're good, Mom. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. We're enjoying the coop. So I think that's pretty cool that they come in here. And the reason is, is because the big girls took over their tree because it's, it's pretty hot right now. It's towards the end of the day well because it's the end of the day the heat is really bad right now the humidity and uh, the big girls decided to uh, ooh, almost dropped my phone the big girls decided to take over the shade tree as you can see oh baby oh baby they're so spoiled. <clears throat> so I thought I'd take a minute before I conclude the video. We've had a pretty eventful day. Um, literally this morning, uh, we had been trying to figure out who's picking on who, and we definitely knew it was most likely Widow. And uh, I saw her kind of going after the other birds the other day when I was sitting on the porch having my coffee, but I didn't really witness her really go after the other birds and actually attempt to be a rooster. And all she's doing is causing fights. Um, so this morning when I saw that, I told Sean, I said, we got to get her out of there and figured the best way would be to put her in with Mr. Daphne. She's doing exceptionally well. I have a chicken pecking my booty over here. Hey, excuse you. Excuse you. That's it. No. Uh-uh. That's mine. Yeah, get the fly. Leave my booty alone. Anyway, she's doing really well over there, and I think, you know, it's going to cure her of it. At least being a butthead for a while. So. Car. 
So why then did we move the pullets um, over today? Well, uh, we usually try to integrate our baby birds into our flock, whichever flock they're being integrated into, whether it be Jersey Giant flock or our mixed breed flock. We try to do that when they're about the same size or close to the same size as the birds we're integrating them with. That usually takes place right at about four month mark, which also is right before they start laying eggs. That's between four and six, sometimes eight months, depending on the, the breed of chicken. So I figured the best time to move them over would be after I got whoever was picking on the other girls out, Sean did too. So when we moved Widow over, the baby birds over in their pullet area that where I've been allowing them to grow out, was getting bored. They were tired of running back and forth, needed new grass, new forage area, new things to play with. So they were constantly flying out. And yesterday we had a horrible, horrible lightning and thunderstorm. Um, <laughs> and here I was out in the rain trying to catch chickens with my broke self and uh, made one slow walk around the coop and lightning hit and I got scared and came back in. And well, they were out until uh, all the lightning quit. But I did that three times. The other two times were not in the rain, but I still chased after them three times yesterday. So when the opportunity came, we're like, well, we're moving Widow. Let's go ahead and put these baby birds over. This way they're already integrated. Uh, they were already about the same size as our other Americanas that are in this flock. So I thought, why not? This way they can uh, get used to their surroundings, get used to their new coop, get used to the nest boxes, which they're seeming to have no problems with. Let's go over and peek in on them again. <laughs> yep, they're doing just fine. So they're figuring everything out. This way, hopefully, uh, when they start laying, things will be nice and smooth. So that's really all I have for you today. As I already said, tomorrow is going to be calling of chickens, so we'll be uh, nice and busy this weekend. Just got back down here in the shade so that I can at least stay cool while I'm talking to you. And uh, that's it. Uh, the farm is slowing down as far as the meat uh, that we do farm here, but the garden and veggies are just now totally kicking off crazy. So that's kind of where we've been and what we've been up to. I hope you enjoyed today's video and seeing the new pullets with their flock. And we appreciate you being here. Until next time, as always, have a great day. <laughs>